whether it's the crowds or the noise or the unfamiliar procedures, public places can be daunting places for people with hidden disabilities. So for Kim Firth, whose son Eli has autism, the idea of flying on a family holiday was too stressful. There's lots of smells that are unfamiliar, um, noises that are very unfamiliar, and lots of noises at the same time, which is a lot to process. Um, often instructions from somebody that we maybe don't know. All those things are a lot for Eli to understand, and many people with additional needs to understand and process. But this simple lanyard has changed all that. Airport staff have been trained to recognise the sunflower sign and to offer extra support. It's finally given the family the confidence to travel. When you have this lanyard, Eli, does that mean people give you help? Help? Yes. Fun and help, yeah, that's good. We just wanted something that was bright, cheerful, easy to spot. The Sunflower Scheme is now part of disability training for all staff here at Heathrow Airport, who are learning they sometimes need to adapt their way of working. A mum who has a child with autism came to the airport a while back, spoke to security and said, please, whatever you do, don't take his bag of toys away from him, because if you do, he'll have a meltdown. So security worked within that, helped out and searched in a different way, and she had a really good experience. All major UK airports have now signed up to this scheme, but it's not stopping there. In recent months, railway companies, NHS trusts, cinemas, supermarkets and shopping centres have adopted it too, the more widely this symbol is recognised, the better it'll work. Kim can vouch for the impact. People, we've noticed, aren't looking because they're staring. They're looking to see maybe if they can offer some help or with a smile of understanding. And actually, if you've got a child who's really struggling in a stressful situation, a smile from somebody who understands goes a very, very long way. The rainbow is up in the sky. And Eli knows he can go far too. Tessa Chapman, Five News.